Hey guys, Forex here. Hope you're all well. This video is going to be a, a quick one, a short one. Um, what you're looking at in front of you is a faulty Xbox. Well, I say faulty, it's a, a minor fault that like, is easily fixed. If I pan up, we can see we've got audio and video. But if I try and press the eject button, we've got the dreaded click of death from the drive. Now, what I'm going to do is set up my tripod and I'm going to show you what's happening and how to fix it. Okay, I'm ready to show you what the problem is with this Xbox. It's a very common problem, especially if you have a Samsung drive. Um, they're the drives that are more notorious for doing this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my adapter I use to clean the nozzle on my desoldering gun and if you look to the right of the and the bottom of the Xbox you'll see a little hole now this is the manual eject for the drive so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come along and put my little adapter in there now there's a tip to this guys what you need to do is press eject on the Xbox and push at the same time and the, the drawer will come out and there we go okay now the drive tray is open I can show you what the problem is if I power on my torch and we look inside on the right hand side this pulley is connected to a motor which is just below and that turns a belt which turns another pulley which is responsible for opening the tray in and out now what happens over time is this belt becomes really really slack and because of that it starts to slip now I can show you that if I hold the tray and push the eject me mechanism you'll see the pulley on the right hand side spin can you see it spinning and it's not pulling on the tray I'm barely holding this tray and it just doesn't have enough grip to pull that tray in or eject it so that's what the problem is it's this belt and it needs replacing and that's what I'm going to do next ok guys I decided to take the drive out and that was just because it was awkward for me to film and try and remove the belt because normally what happens is you can open the tray and you can replace the dry belt through this little hole here but because I had a camera in front of it and I was trying to film it was just a nightmare so I've taken the drive out but normally you don't have to do this so what I'm going to do is just take the lid off the drive move the tray out a bit here's our little dry belt and I'm just going to whip it off there we go we're off that's the old one I'll show you the new one you can see the size difference our one stretched and the other one hasn't so I'm just gonna come in with my new drive belt and that's it all done put this back together and it should work again and what we're looking at now is the old drive belt which should be around about 20 millimeters so if I come in and measure it we can see it's closer to 25 millimeters so yeah that drive belt has definitely slackened over the years as you can see we're all back together now like I mentioned earlier in the video you don't really need to strip the Xbox down and take the drive out to replace the belt you can actually do it through the drive bay while it's open um, it's just that if you think about it I had a camera here mounted on a tripod I had the tray open I'm trying to work around the camera and it was just a bloody nightmare so it was far easier for me to just open up the Xbox take the drive out whip the lid off the drive and replace the drive belt you saw how easy it was it took me what two seconds one handed while I was filming but yeah as you can see the Xbox is all back together 
and let's give it a test so I'm gonna press the eject button and as you can see it's ejecting perfectly fine now first time every time now like I said this is a very common fault on the, uh, the original Xbox and it also affects the Xbox 360 as well and all you need to do is replace that drive belt so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video guys very simple fix so if you like this video like comment subscribe and as always I'll catch you on the next one hmm <laughs> wonder what these parts are for